Okay, so uh, this is going to be something different. And yes, I know my English is absolutely perfect in every way. <laughs> but uh, this is a tutorial video for one of my subscribers. Can't pronounce his name <laughs> though. <laughs> Some Slavic name or something like that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to explain it. Radio Friendly Unit Shifter by Nirvana on Acoustic. Uh, yeah, because I'm super famous on the internet and in real life. <laughs> and people want to know my songs and the songs and covers I'm playing. And yeah, no my 23 subscribers or something anyways uh, first thing it's not that different from the actual uh, electric guitar version of the song I just adapted it for acoustic guitar so first thing uh, my app is in the way That's the 14th fret on your third string. Just give them a bend. And then 15 on second string. I know it sounds horrible, <laughs> but it's supposed to, especially on acoustic guitar. It sounds like, well. It just sounds wrong. <laughs> but that's the song. It's and uh, I love it the way it is. Yeah, just do that a few times. Kurt's playing was very. I don't think he would say yeah, play it exactly like that at, at that exact moment, and he just more out of gut feeling, you know. And then uh, fourth fret on your fifth string. And then some muted strums. That kind of feel. And then Put some of your fingers down. Slide up. And then the riff comes in. Love that riff. Um, I play it so slowly. It starts here in the power chord on the uh, what is that? F fifth string on your uh, sixth string on your fifth fret. So you can see it clearly. Wait, I have to. So you can see the strumming. Is that two strums? It's a complicated sixth sixth string, fifth fret, uh, third fret, fifth string, power chord, then up one one fret, then the same thing here. I know I'm not the best teacher and or anything, but uh, I hope you can. There's a lot of other videos where they teach the riff. It's 
the same riff on electric guitar. Then back to that A chord. And Kurt on the live versions, he just keeps the A chord like because an electric guitar, the distorted sound holds on longer. But on acoustic guitar, I just... Let's give it a few strums. Kurt plays it like... And just holds that, and then he starts... Building up some tension. That keeps getting louder, and then the main riff comes in. And then the verse. Yeah, um, that's half of the song, probably. <laughs> and then the uh, bridge. Power chord here on the third fret on your fifth string root. I don't think I have to explain where the power chords are because you can see them. I hope so at least. Like here. Spiral up. basically this song there's like uh, a break a short break and where he does some bends and weird stuff like here that again I'm not going to explain it because I'm it's just a tutorial for acoustic guitar what I did was for that break like a little solo a simple solo uh, inspired by the version of Sarah Jane. Her version is also great. It's on YouTube, so you can look it up. She did like a something like this. Just just that A chord here, power chord. Do that a few times. Back to that. And at the end of the song, I just went crazy and just did that again, like with the top strings. Just go, just do something, man. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't matter. Kurt played it like, the, the song's supposed to sound like you're going insane. So play it like, don't care about it. Just make some noise. So yeah, I think that's all of the song really yeah i hope it was a help for someone <laughs> even though i'm not the best teacher i hope that I, 
to I hope it's understandable how I told to play it <laughs> but yeah that's radio friendly unit shifter on acoustic guitar farewell